YouTubers, Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to the hot lead zone, and I've been doing some reloading, and this is after the lead experience, so we're wearing the nitrile gloves and respirator and going ahead and reloading, and tonight's topic is loading the 45 Colt to hot pressures to magnemize the 45 Colt. Now this was fashionable about 10 years ago. Lots of debate because the 45 Colt could be loaded to 44 Magnum velocity at lower pressure than the 44 Magnum because of the, of the bigger case. Well, fans of the 45 Colt Magnum were always saying that you could then load to equal 44 Magnum pressure that's around 40,000 PSI and get more performance than the 44 Magnum. And then the 44 Magnum enthusiasts were saying that's not a safe procedure because the 45 Colt brass is not as strong and 45 Colt handguns aren't as strong because there's less metal around the chambers. So this debate raged back and forth for quite a few years. Now what you're looking at is a 45 Colt loaded with Hornady 250 grain XTP bullets and according to loading manuals a maximum load of 2400 powder. Now I won't give you the load because this video is not encouraging this practice. This is actually a 45 Colt that's been hot loaded to magnum velocities and it's only supposed to be fired in the strong Ruger Blackhawks or the Thompson Center Contender type of pistol. If you fire this in an old single action army revolver you'll blow it up for sure. But you'll notice that as of the last uh, three or four years you don't hear any more of this debate and you don't see any more articles in uh, the shooting magazines on hot loading the 45 Colt and what's the reason for that? The reason is because the factory loaded 454 Kasul now will allow shooting of 45 caliber bullets at velocities in excess of 44 magnum levels and if you want to load them down a little bit you can actually do all the magnum hot loaded 45 Colts can do easily with brass that's a lot stronger and guns that are a lot stronger so there's no more risk of marginalizing the strength of the 45 Colt by hot loading the rounds. So YouTubers if you want to hot load a 45 Colt then simply buy yourself a 454 Kasul revolver or lever gun and then you have the flexibility of shooting factory or hand loaded 454 Kasuls at velocities greater than any hot loaded 45 Colt could be done and all that can be done safely and then if you want to shoot plus P's or, or light loaded rounds then simply put a 45 Colt into your 454 Kasul handgun and shoot the 45 Colt in there kind of like a 45 Special in relation to a 44 Magnum 44 Special so I loaded these hot and someday I might just go ahead and shoot them but for now I don't really feel any need to shoot these because I can shoot these instead. So here's the reloading project that I just did. There's two jugs of 400 rounds each plus two boxed 100 round boxes of 45 Colt 255 grain bullets semi wad cutters. These are loaded stout and they're all you need. Heavy 255 grain semi wad cutter bullets with a big me plat and it's plus P velocity with 8 grains of unique. 1000 rounds of these fun and pleasurable to shoot plus very effective 
for whatever purpose we need. And if I need a Magnum 45 Colt, just buy a 454 Casul. YouTubers out there, take care. Bye for now.